I don't care about your moral offense, you piece of shit, you idiot, you idiot, moral fag, internet moral fagging, you idiot, a ton of you idiot, you idiot, moral fags, you idiot, and I don't give a <laughs> flying shit. <laughs> In JF's own words, a 19-year-old girl communicated with him online, he fell in love with her, he convinced her to leave her family and join him, and then after three weeks of being with her, a girl that had never lived on her own, worked a job, lived apart from her parents, been in a relationship, he convinced her to try to have a child with him. First I will say, you cannot believe anything Just, uh, that you read in there. It's been written heavy. by lawyers. So what you see there are allegations. Okay. We were in love and the court decided that they would make her unable to consent. That's the court's choice. I disagree with it and she disagreed with the court too because she wanted to be with me. If she disagreed then... But don't claim that the, 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 the arguments of the lawyer of the other side, those who were trying to being support the position her. of her father, which Ask was that this. she was unable to consent. Don't take these allegations as truth. They have not been found truthful by the judge. Oh, let me in here, please. Yeah, and uh, I'm not going to bring that up, Destiny, at no! the moment, because no! I have no evidence for anything. I have no evidence He's like, for anything. all in caps lock. Yeah, I mean, it's all the, in the court answer docs. to me is, yeah, you can dig in my past. You know what you will find? I'm not you will digging. Find that there's it's all seven listed women in the total court in docs. my life that, I, that have accused me of crimes that I've not committed and that I was found non guilty in every single fucking case. Well, when he says found not guilty, me, did, the, did the state of Texas even pursue charges against him that he had molested the girl or that he'd taken advantage of her or that it was statutory rape? Jean That's not being found not guilty. That means they didn't go after charges. Oh, yes. Would you want to talk to him about this shit, or yeah. you just want to? Yeah, like, just, bring me out. Like, say, talk to this. Bring me out. Yeah. I mean, oh yeah, it's not gonna be a very pleasant oh, show because shit. he's gonna come and he's gonna drop all sorts of falsity, and I'm gonna be responding the same thing all over again, which is, no. yeah, those were allegations. Bring him in. They were not found to bring be true by a court. Bring him if in. If you think there bring is an bring entertainment in. value to this, bring him on. I don't mind, but I'm telling you. It's gonna be a very sad discussion. I don't care about your moral offense, you piece of shit. Sure, you don't have to care about my moral offense because the court already agreed with me about the moral offense. She had never lived on her own before, and despite all of this, you convinced her to leave her family without a, without a word to join you and make a baby. That's Bro. called love, you idiot. That's yeah, called yeah. love, but a 19-year-old yeah. girl? Sorry, go yeah. ahead. Yeah, a 19-year-old yeah. girl wanna... can love, you idiot. Do you want people in the future to be scared of going out with mentally disabled people. Eventually, destiny will find out and it will ruin their life. Now, it is a 19-year-old woman who was free to make her choices. Stephen can come here and express moral offense. Who cares? Everyone in the chat says 19 is legal, Stephen. So why didn't she fight the court about being appointed a guardian, JF? If ah, she wanted to be she was intimidated, physically abused by her father, and intimidated into abandoning her rights. You're saying that a girl was so easily intimidated that she quickly gave up her right to exist in an autonomous person, but you claim the same person was mature enough to make the decision to move in with you and bear your child? The reality is that anyone going out with any autistic person of any age could eventually be judged by destiny as being wrong, even if that person is found to be non, non able to consent after the actions have occurred and after the relationship has occurred. Or I'm not, not sure who, what other destiny you're referring to, but that's not why I have moral judgment against you. My moral judgment is because you took somebody that was a child and you convinced them to move across. No, she was not no, a child. She was child, 19, dude. you idiot. You're lying again. You're Listen to this behind? sentence. Right, I just go. I okay, I destiny. About consent, but okay. I chain fucked woman of the age of 18, 19, barely legal woman on the east coast of America, non-stop, okay? And I don't give a <laughs> flying shit. I don't think you can truly fall in love with somebody on the internet. Why buddy. not? Living what with if you're on Skype every night? It doesn't matter. You don't five hours a night. It do, you don't have to deal with that person when they're when they're at their lowest of their lows, or, or or what it's like to live with a person with all their bad habits and everything. It's just any. Do you have a? Do you have a? I'm not trying to get personal. Do you have a girlfriend right now? Yes. Yes. How, do you live with her? Yes. We had to go over some, a lot of, you know, personal issues, but we're doing fantastic now, but it was really rough for the first four months. Sure, yeah, lie. because when you live with somebody,
somebody, it's a totally different thing. So if somebody tells me that they're in love with somebody that they've been talking to online, and then they up and just leave their family with no word, and they just drive cross country, and in a few weeks are trying to create a child with this person without a financial future, without any type of financial security, yeah, that's a, there's a fuck ton of red flags there. Apparently, she was intelligent enough to find a guy who wanted to care for her for the rest of his life and who had the amount of money required to survive for that long. And so go get fucked, moral fag. I think that if she was in love with JF, well, that, she was she found, that she found someone that she may never find ever again because of her mental illness. I'm sure she could find and tons then, of people that are from a foreign country no, that would dude, want to knock yeah, her up to get but, citizenship but, in the US. No, I'm sure she could find tons of people that are into uh, that. Ladies and gentlemen, we have reached the peak internet moral fagging. Destiny has an opinion on what a 19-year-old girl in Texas should do. An opinion that the court agreed with, her. that the state of Texas never, agreed with. Never Oof, never awkward. <laughs> Things Two psychiatrists is here, though. On her life <laughs> Yikes. Is extensive enough that 3,000 people <laughs> watching live shows should hear his point of view ah. about her life. And here we have JF, the 32-year-old man, thrice married, who has found true love by talking to a 19-year-old mentally disabled girl who saw him on a podcast and messaged him on Skype. And after a few months, he's determined that she is his soulmate, and he wants to ship her off to North Carolina to put a baby in her. So that's, and that's biology. I'm sorry you have a problem ah, with it. Yeah, biology. Do you think, Ooh. Destiny... If this was just love, I honestly wouldn't care as much. It was that um, JF was trying to do, like, unstoppable damage, like, permanent damage to her life by having a child with her. That's more than just love. If they were just living together or whatever, and then the father showed up, like, that's an entirely different situation. It's the fact that wait, after wait, living oh, with her for actually, a few weeks, JF is trying to get her pregnant. This is a girl actually, that's never even lived on her own before. He thinks she could take care of a kid? That's comical. It, it, I'm assuming it's because he loved her so much JF just said it's biology. He just said it's biology. He's had three yeah, wives love and a is kid. Biology, he says you he's idiot. fucked a ton of people. Yeah, love is biology, you idiot. Okay. And when I fuck people, it's because I love them and I want to have babies with them and have a family for the rest of my life. Unfortunately, we live in an authoritarian state supported by people like you, moral fags, who keep me from doing that. I had to leave the United States because I could not have a family, a white reproductive family in the United United States, so I left to fucking Canada. You have this fictive scenario that you make in your head that I'm not a good father or that I, I didn't want to be a father. No, I would I, have you taken might be care. an amazing father. I don't know if you're a good father. I just don't think you're a good person. There's a difference. Whether ah, or not, okay. whether well, or not, I don't you care think... about your moral judgment. Well, that's fine. The state of Texas. I think, I think that your, your future <laughs> on the internet mm -hmm. is that is as big as that of Thomas Smith. Thank you. Now he's hopped into another relationship with a girl 13 years younger than him, and he's ready to have a child with her immediately? What guarantee do you have that she's not going to want the same as your ex-wife did? It's, it's not my problem it's if life. women leave their men. It's not my problem. Go yell at them, not well, at me. But it is kind of, because a relationship involves two people, JF. It's not just one person. If you want to be morally offended, go see them and ask them why they left me. What's the difference from a guy heading to a bar and buying a chick drinks and then paying for dinner and then like buying her a bunch of presents and treating her very well? It's the same fucking thing, man. It's, it's not, called though. It's not it's because, courting. The, because it's called no, courting. No, 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 no. There's a huge difference. It's the difference between consent versus informed consent. That the woman at the bar is a mature adult that has the mental faculty to make decisions about her future. A mentally retarded 19 year old, that this particular one, apparently, according to two psychiatrists, ruled that she did not have the faculty to make this decision. I'm, I'm curious. How would you feel about a 17 year old yeah. girl doing this? Uh, depends on what. Okay, uh, how would you state... feel about a 15 year old girl doing this? Now I have a problem because. Why? This is now illegal because it's so illegal the now. only thing that matters to you is the mm. law let's say we get rid of the law and we're just talking morality how would you feel about jf doing this with a 15 year old girl i would be very opposed to that it's disgusting in my opinion why? but however however Wait, well, I, know, I, I, know I, know I know what you're gonna why. say i know what you're gonna say dude because what if this girl was 30 but her mental state stayed as a like a, a let's say a 14 year old so don't let her do it that's nah, what man, we do gonna... yeah andy there are people I, that I mean, get old who are appointed it... guardians for their entire lives because they're not mentally capable of living on their own and if they do that live on their inhumane. own. No, inhumane. it's not inhumane. We do this to prevent other people from taking advantage of them. This is what you're asking me to accept. That she secretly loved JF, okay? That she wanted to be with him, but she was scared of telling any law enforcement officer. She was scared of telling either psychiatrist. She
she was scared of communicating this with the judge. She didn't tell a single person, but but somehow she had this secret desire. I have no more uh, interest in interacting with Destiny on this. All right, yeah, yeah. Andy, don't date any 18 year olds, okay? Don't try to put babies on them. It's just not right, okay? Goodbye. <laughs> But he's correct, so the other guy's a fucking moron. No, because right? I'm not a fucking moron.